final term here at the Western Oval. One straight kick the difference. Footscray 13-8, North Melbourne 12-8. But the Roos coming home with at least a four-goal breeze. Dempsey trying to get it down to Wilson, but it's Berry who takes it away for Footscray. They need a goal early in this term. Henshaw gets caught. Play on is the call as Hodgman goes in late. Here's a chance for them now. A hurried kick, gathered no distance. Some fierce tackling early on in the game. In this final term, it'll be young Kevin Sait, who started in a ball of fire, kicking four goals up towards half forward. Hodgman scouting the pack. Had a good third term to Wilson, to Schimmelbush. A hurried kick up towards half forward, looking for his brother who's at the back, almost completes the mark as well. In all sorts of bother is Terry White, and he loses it to Spencer, who'll look down towards Blight. Waiting at the back, but this floating kick, it's a difficult one to mark. Reed, a hurried kick back towards the centre of the ground. Good tackling going on by, that was young Holt. Reed, no one chasing at the moment. And Reed it is who takes it away for Footscray. Not a well-directed kick as Henderson, who's been pretty impressive, takes the mark. Half back flanker going in towards Blight. He's the high flyer, but fisted away by Berry down to Byrne. Runs into trouble and holding the ball <laughs> against Byrne. Poor old John Byrne. He had no chance on that occasion as he went ran straight, slap bang into two Footscray players. And uh, the right decision by the umpire. The ball kicked up towards the half forward line, almost a mark to Edmund. Hawkins is in there also for Footscray, and the umpire will race in and bounce the ball. Umpire Mike Dye almost on centre wing. Darrell Henderson, you can see on your screen, 26, is uh, one of the younger players North Melbourne have brought into the side and has performed pretty pretty well in this match today too at the Western Oval. Bill Berry, beaten by Dempsey, a beautiful hit out to Hodgman, Hodgman to Byrne, Byrne towards the half forward line, out comes Blight, he's the danger player, towards the boundary line it goes, Blight cleverly keeps it in place, still in there, knocks it back, great play Blight, Hodgman a snap towards the goal square, a one out duel, it's a beautiful mark, taken by McCann, into the open goal he goes, for an easy goal to North Melbourne and McCann's second goal of the match and scores at the two minute mark of the final quarter are dead level. Footscray 13 8 86, North Melbourne on 13 8 86. Well, there's no doubt about the form of McCann, particularly in the second half of this match. Some tremendous marking all around the ground in the third term by Stephen McCann and carrying it on in this final quarter. Kicking his second goal and tying away the scores here at the Western Oval. 13-8 apiece, centre bounce, Berry, Dempsey. One by Dempsey, taken away for Footscray by Dunstan. A high ball, almost snared on the half volley by Henshaw. Hodgman looking for the player going past, eventually socket off the ground, however, by Brian Cordy. Chance now for North Melbourne for Henshaw. Henderson. Has the player running past and using him in Xavier Tanner. Beautiful pass. That's better football from North Melbourne. And he's found young Holt. Kicked a goal in the third term. And it'll be John Holt in towards Blight. Can't complete the mark, but the whistle has sounded. And the free kick going against North Melbourne on this occasion. And it will go to Cordy. And this is Neil Cordy. From the back pocket. Looking for Reed in front of McCann on this occasion. He takes a good mark. Bruce Reed on half back flank. <laughs> He's tried very hard on that back line for Footscray today. Kicks it up towards the centre wing. Oh, two North Melbourne players run into each other. Beautiful hand pass. Ah. Oh. Up said he threw it against Jim McAllister. The ball will come back to Ross Glendinning right on the centre wing position. Grandstand side of the ground. He'll kick long. Looking down there for Blight. Neil Cordy from behind trying to claim the mark. Blight in, diving on top of it. And umpire Ian Robinson will come in and bounce the ball about 30 metres out from, from the North Melbourne goal. Scores dead set level. 13-8 apiece. So McCann got that hit out. Going in after it is Jarrett. Knocks it towards Jeff Berry for Footscray. He knocks it further afield. Here's a chance for Spencer as he gives it out to his teammate there in Reeves. Over to Blight. A chance for Blight. He snaps around. He hooks at the goals. Is it through? 
Yes, another goal for Malcolm Blythe for goal number six. A beautiful snapshot, and North Melbourne go to a one-goal lead. 14 goals, 8.92. Leading Footscray, 13 goals, 8.86. And after a magnificent first half, North Melbourne have slowly but surely got on top of Footscray, who have certainly slowed in their game, Peter. Well, that's been their trouble for three or four weeks now. They've played one or two good quarters and have been right up with leading sides. But when the pressure's been applied, they haven't been able to go on with it for the full four quarters. But that's uh, the problem with a lot of the lower sides on the ladder. They can match it for a half, but they find it hard to go the full distance. Someone, it appears, could have scooted off, heading straight for home with a football. No, it's come back. Something you don't see often nowadays. Well, it just proves there are some honest people <laughs> left. So, one goal favouring North Melbourne. As we've said, kicking with a breeze. Estimated at around four goals. Footscray certainly have the job ahead of them. They found in the second term they could manage only one goal into the breeze. They'll certainly have to do better than that this time as Dempsey wins it. But it was Dunstan who tried to take it away, playing his 150th game. Now big Bill Berry gets in there. He's in all sorts of trouble, under plenty of pressure. Dunstan again, a hurried kick out towards the half-forward line. Fisted away, down to Reeves it goes. He's been a pretty solid performer today. Has plenty of time to steady. Have a look up forward, in towards half-forward. Over the head of Schimmelbush it goes, and it's taken by Egan. He wastes no time, but gets caught. Looks for the handball to Dunstan. Out of trouble, a hurried kick. Towards centre wing. Oh, Davidson in under pressure. Loses it. Hold again. A little left foot chip towards Hodgman. Still possession. A chip now to Blight. He's kicked six. Here's number seven. No mistake about it. Malcolm Blight. Goal number seven. And now the ruse starting to show a glimmer of form. A great play by Hodgman because he could have been very unselfish. He could have been selfish, I should say, and had a shot on his left foot. But he saw Malcolm Blight all on his own, 10 metres out, and he chipped it across beautifully on the left foot. Very unselfish play indeed by uh, Kim Hodgman. North Melbourne getting on top, two goals in front, and they're kicking with the strong breeze. Seven minutes gone in this final quarter. Bill Berry and Gary Dempsey. Dempsey again wins the hit out. North Melbourne can't get it out of the centre. Diving on top of the ball was Chris Burton. The umpire said he was grabbed when he didn't have it. And Chris Burton, who's kicked three goals today for Footscray, kicks it long up towards the half four line, but there's no one there. And David Dins takes an easy mark uh, with arms outstretched. He comes straight down the centre of the ground, kicks it towards centre half forward, almost a mark to Wigan. Going in after it is Bruce Reed for Footscray. Good play by Bruce Reed as he gives it out to Dunstan. Dunstan hooks it out wide towards the half forward line. Edmund from in front. Overrun by the North Melbourne players on that occasion. Teddy Whitten goes for a hand pass towards his teammate there as a Templeton gets ridden into the ground. Up by said, holding the ball against Calvin Templeton, and the free kick will be go to Tanner. Tanner gives it across to Dench. Dench will come straight down the centre of the ground with a hand pass towards his teammate and Reeves. Reeves gives it back to Dench. Beautiful football by North Melbourne. Dench's long hand pass goes to Wilson. Wilson goes wide towards Hodgman. Hodgman cleverly will run into the open goal from 20 metres out. He chips it short to Blight. Blight into the open goal for goal number... What's that? Goal number seven to Malcolm Blight. Is it a goal number eight? Eight. Goal number eight, in fact, to Malcolm Blight and North Melbourne going to 16 goals, eight. 86. And again, it was Kim Hodgman who very unselfishly drew the player, which uh, allowed Malcolm Blight the freedom and space, and he had no trouble at all, posting his third goal for the term. And centre bounce. Dempsey over the top. Sate. A kick under great pressure, marked by Dempsey. A hurried left foot kick out wide, finds Holt. My word, he's been impressive today. Looks a real goer. Holt, Blight from behind. Blight! Well, it's very rare that you see uh, some truly great solo performances, but Malcolm Blight is providing this crowd at the Western Oval at the moment with one in the final term. Going for goal number nine. Looks pretty good from here. Nine goals to Malcolm Blight and North Melbourne move on to 17-8. Footscray a 13-8 on Sevens, big lead.
There's no doubt about Malcolm Blight. He had his name written all over that mark as the ball was kicked beautifully down to him too by the young player of North Melbourne in Holt. And he had the run and he had the sit, but he took a beautiful one grabber. And uh, that's a feature of Malcolm Blight's game. And nine goals, and he's kicked four or five behinds also, so he's had a number of shots for goal, and Footscray haven't been able to counter him up on that forward line. He's kicked seven with the breeze, Peter, and two into it. Been a great performance. Dempsey's in the ruck against uh, Bill Berry. Bluey Hampshire hasn't come back on the ground after being interchanged in the third quarter. The ball hits the deck. Ted Whitten going in after it. But umpire Mike Dye will bounce it almost in the identical position. Big Dempsey there getting ready to use his body in front of Berry. Berry grabs that one out of the ruck. Caught with the ball. Play on said the umpire as Byrne kicks it towards Hawkins for Footscray. He's been fairly quiet since halftime after being best man on the ground the first half. <laughs> Terry White comes across the back line. He ran about 30 <laughs> metres. Gives it across to Brian Cordy. He kicks it quickly towards half forward. Templeton goes back. Over the back was Edmund. Grabbed by Ted Whitney. Fires towards the goals. In fact, Hampshire is back on the ground as uh, he's playing up there on Ross Glendinning. But the ball beat both of them over the line and out of bounds. Footscray's right forward pocket. They desperately need a goal. Trailing by four at the moment. Dempsey coming over the top. Little Sate's been a trier all day. Here's Henshaw setting up the handball. And North Melbourne out of trouble once again. That kick going straight to Siri at centre wing. Swings it back towards half forward. Little Sate, the meat in the sandwich. He goes down very heavily indeed. Dunstan in trouble, but out of it. Well done. Up towards full forward, going across the face of goal, in fact. Socket away. That was Henderson. And has given away the free kick to Stan Davidson. Could find the distance a little trying under these windy conditions. No leads forthcoming. So he goes long in towards the square. Pretty good kick. And a great fly. A good mark, too. Templeton taken by Kelvin Templeton. He's kicked two to date, and both of those were in the first term. It has the opportunity now, point blank range. And although Footscray are looking down the barrel at the moment, it's certainly a bright light for them that Templeton's comeback so far has been successful. There's his third goal, and Footscray hanging in against North Melbourne. A margin of 18 points favouring the Roos, 17-8 to 14-8. Beautiful mark. Great goal by Templeton and a great comeback too for a player who's had such a serious knee operation and has been out of the game all year to put on the uh, performance, especially in the first quarter today. His first quarter was magnificent when he kicked two goals, uh, knocked on a couple to other players. He contested hard, which resulted in three other goals. And... Uh, He's been an inspiration to the other Footscray players and there's no doubt in my mind that if he had have been playing all year, Footscray would have won three or four more games. Well, there's one football that won't come back. They've got a new one this time. And it'll be Barry to contest with Dempsey, who's been on the ball all day. 18 points favouring North Melbourne. Here's the bounce. One by Berry. Down looking for Davidson. A hurried kick. Now Hodgman. He's had quite a good final term. Feeding it to Blight. Taken away on that occasion by Jeff Berry. Templeton again. Long, long way out from goal. Hasn't got a lot to kick to. And eventually elects to go short to Dunstan. Oh, he gets himself in bother. Goes for a long, hand, bad handball. Pushed towards the boundary line. In fact, this ball will beat players over the line for a throw-in at centre wing. Unfortunate then for Templeton, he did not have a thing to kick to up forward. I think Dunstan almost had the same situation too. Yep. He wasn't sure who to kick the ball to, and in the end he got caught uh, holding the ball far too long. There's uh, Wayne Schimmelbus keeping it in play down towards the forward line, and a beautiful mark taken by Jeff Berry, and he certainly hasn't let Footscray down today. He's played excellent, an excellent game on the, that half-back line. He goes towards the centre of the ground. This is dangerous, though, because it gives North Melbourne the chance to attack. There's the hand pass coming out wide towards Hodgman. Hodgman over the top with another hand pass. Going in after it is Doug Hawkins. Cleverly knocks it back 
Beautiful play, Hawkins goes wide towards Dunstan. It's still in play as Dunstan goes for another hand pass over the top to Davidson. Davidson, a further hand pass to Brian Cordy. Cordy goes short, looking up there for Edmund. Edmund in front takes a very strong mark indeed. He goes for the hand pass to Brian Cordy. Can he hook it back? He does. Hampshire ducks back. Will it go through? No mark in the last line of defence by Ross Glendinning. Glendinning right in the goal square and... Uh, well, he's played a fair game, but he's certainly not back to the form that we know that Ross Glendinning can show. But the ball will be taken back to the goal square to Glendinning to have another kick. Louis Hampshire just brought back a little from the mark. Interest now for North Melbourne as to whether Malcolm Blight can go into double figures. Kick back towards Schimmelbush and Davidson. Hodgman. Always keen to find the player going past and get the handball, keeping it moving towards Reed. He goes heavily down with McCann. Here's a race with Spencer. First to it, Terry White. And uh, all sorts of pressure. But has the free kick. Waste no time. Wobbles one up towards the centre of the ground and Ted Whitten takes the mark. Up towards centre wing, over the head of Henderson it goes. A chance for Edmund if the ball sits for him. To set up the loose man with a long handball. There's a chance for Templeton. He goes goalwards with a beautiful long looking kick in towards the square. A one hand to suck it off the ground. It's a goal. And Footscray are still in there fighting. 12 points the margin. 15 8 now to Footscray. Burton kicking that one. That's goal number four for Chris Burton in what's been a very good performance. North Melbourne 17-8, Footscray 15-8 and great action coming your way on Sevens Big League. Well, certainly North Melbourne have got the advantage kicking with the breeze. We've been playing 16 and a half minutes into the final quarter and they're two goals in front, but Footscray aren't giving up without a fight. They're getting it up there and they're certainly in the past five minutes they've they've shown a lot more system up on that forward line there's Dempsey oh gee certainly has controlled the center bounce as uh, Byrne gives it across to Jarrett Jarrett looking down there for Blight as he got it yes Malcolm Blight's mark 30 meters out from goal almost directly in front he's already kicked nine and can he make it the magical double figures well it's not very often you see double figures kicked Certainly it'll set the crowd alight if he can put it through. There he is. He steers it, and I think he split the centre, has he? Yes, it's another goal to Malcolm Blight. Goal number 10. A magnificent effort by the ex-captain coach, I should say. And uh, they've gone further in front. Three goals in front, in fact, are uh, North Melbourne. 18-8, 116 to Footscray, 15-8, 98. Malcolm Blight has kicked five goals for the term thus far. He kicked one in the third, three in the second, and one in the first. Tremendous performance. Well, that's the value of use of the ball, too. That was a magnificent pass. Kicked across to Blight and a good lead. Yes, one kick out of the centre. Let's see what happens this time. Margin back to 18 points. Dempsey wins it with a mighty thump. Down towards Wilson, in trouble. In fact, gets ripped off the ball. Whitten picks it up. Goes with a high kick towards half forward. Edmund the flyer. Fisted away by Henderson. Down to Sait. A lightning handball sees Footscray maintain possession through Cordy. Up towards uh, the forward area it goes. Here's a chance for them now as it's flicked in towards goal at the back. Blowy! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's raining goals at the moment. And Bluey Hampshire, who had a stint on the interchange bench, has the opportunity now of making the margin once again 12 points. Pretty tricky angle he's on. He kicks truly straight through the middle and Footscray won't lie down. That's goal number 16. They're 16-8 to North Melbourne's 18-8 and great action in this final term on Sevens Big League. Well, it's imperative that uh, Footscray get the very next goal because if they can do that, they will, they will be six points behind North Melbourne and then it'll be a real fight on, on the hands for North Melbourne. And uh, Footscray, no doubt, they can see the look on the players out there. They are very, very tense and they want to get in and get win this game. And certainly North Melbourne, we both thought that they would run away in this quarter, but North, Footscray fighting it right out. Dempsey from the centre. Has been winning it out well. Hawkins. Sets up the handball for Sate. Here they go again. 
This is Cordy, Brian. Bluey. Handball. Oh, he's put his teammate under pressure, and it's a hurried kick by Ian Dunstan. Not good football at all, but they're still in possession through Cordy. Tucked in the pocket. He swings in towards goal. A beautiful looking chip at the back is there. A play on. Goal. A great goal kicked by Jim Edmund. The margin is now six points. And who said Footscray was finished? 17 goals. They've kicked three into the breeze in this term. 17 8, trailing North Melbourne by six points. Well, no sooner had I said it that they had to kick the next goal to be in this match. Well, they've kicked it. Let's see what they can do from here. They are certainly right in this match now. North Melbourne had Footscray on toast. They were four goals in front, kicking with a strong breeze. Now the Bulldogs are right back in the match. And can they get the next goal? Centre bounce. Dempsey and Bill Berry. Dempsey gets it again. Straight to Wilson. He gets away. He gets away too easily. Onto the left foot. He goes down looking for Blight and Neil Cordy. Neil Cordy from behind. Going in after it is Egan. He's caught. Drops the ball. Play on, said the umpire. Out comes Egan. Handball to Bruce Reed. Reed out wide to Jeff Berry. Jeff Berry kicks out wide again. Looking out there for Sate. Will it stay in play? It does. Sate. A hand pass over the top. Here's a loose man. Will it come off? It's Templeton. Goes for another hand pass to Brian Cordy. Cordy kicks long up there to looking for big bluey hair chair. In comes Edmund. Will the ball bounce for him? He's caught. Handball's away. Going in after it is Burton. Gets away with the ball. Great play by Chris Burton. He goes short. Looking up there. It's come off. No, the mark is dropped up on the forward line there. And the ball comes away from defence through the agency of Ditch. He looks out there for Dempsey. Oh, well, that was luck for North Melbourne as that mark was dropped by the Footscray player up there. Over the back of the pack to Egan. Is it a free kick to North? Yes, the umpire said in the back and the kick will go to Jarrett. Alan Jarrett, no doubt, will be looking up towards Malcolm Blight. The pass is on. Blight at the back. Steadies. Could this be number 11? Offline and one point only, but it does give North Melbourne a little bit of breathing space. 22 minutes almost have elapsed in this final term. The Roos lead by seven points. Kick back into play, and the mark's taken by Dunstan. He gets caught, gets a hurried kick, virtually a kick to touch towards that boundary line. He's made it to centre wing, and Reeves behind play, looking uh, a little stressed. It's been a dour struggle. Here's Dempsey doing it from behind. Wins the tap. Down to Holt. Can't control it. Siri, a hurried kick towards centre wing. The bounce. Little favour of Stan Davidson, but he gets caught. Aerial ping pong as Wilson was a beautiful tackle on him. Picked up by Gallagher. Up to half four. Templeton can't control it. At the back is Henderson. Sets up the handball, and North Melbourne are able to steady. A long kick. Back towards half forward. Fisted down by Berry towards the centre where Siri's there. Sets up the handball. Here's a chance for them now. It's Gallagher going out wide towards the half forward line. The opportunity for Cordy. He flicks it in towards full forward. The big fella's there. One hand. He can't quite do it. Should have been a free kick just quietly. Dench and Glenn Denning combine, and it's Glenn Denning who brings it back towards Schimmelbush. He's got the opportunity. Daryl Schimmelbush goes on with it now. Chips one in towards the half forward line, looking for Byrne. He's bundled out of it. McCann goes in strongly, sets up the handball for Byrne. He's taken out of it. Oh, nothing. Give or take here as it's brought away for Footscray by Doug Hawkins, the centre of the ground. He sets up the handball to Burton, puts him under pressure, recovers, a chip in towards half forward, and the mark is taken there by Seary. Colin Seary almost in the centre of the ground. He's looking for Templeton. Templeton up in front. Can't quite get the mark. Oh, could have been holding the ball. Play on, said the umpire, as the kick comes right down towards the half forward line. Here's a chance for North Melbourne. The mark dropped over there by Young Holt. Going after it is Jeff Berry. Grabbed when he handballed the ball away. And it must be a free kick to Jeff Berry on half back flank. Off they go. A hand pass to Bruce Reed. He grabs it on half back flank. He kicks towards centre wing. Back after it is Jim Edmund. Goes in after it. All bundled out of the way. In goes Xavier Tanner. Swings onto the left foot. Now he goes back onto the right and kicks it off the side of the boot towards Jeff Berry for Footscray. Over the back it goes again. Great play, Bruce Reed. Gives a hand pass to Gallagher. Gallagher goes long. Looking up there for, towards Jim Edmund again. Oh, push in the back and the free kick. Ah, oh, come on. Not paid by the umpire to the hoots of the Footscray supporters. And Gary Dempsey goes for the kick towards the half forward line. Holt at the back. Elected not to fly. It's a very tired looking young John Holt. Throw in. 
almost into time on seven points the margin North Melbourne controlling it in their attacking zone at the moment McCann Berry coming over the top looking for Doug Hawkins in all sorts of bother no one able to take it away and another bounce as Ross Gallagher gets up from the bottom of the pack umpires having a wry smile at the moment with Ross Gallagher is Barry and McCann. McCann down to Spencer. Here's Blight, the danger man. Juggled it. He's kicked 10. The opportunity now for 11. Well, someone said in the paper, will he do an Ian both? And well, he has certainly done that. Yes, no question of that. There's the drop punt. Looks pretty good off the boot. Straight through the middle. 11 goals to Malcolm Blight in what's been a marvellous performance, a magnificent return to top form, and that's the steadier for North Melbourne. They move to 19-9, leading Footscray 17-8 on Seven's big league. Well, Footscray had the chances to get it up their forward line. They had control of the ball, but they didn't have anyone up in that, right up in that goal square to capitalise and get that vital goal. And uh, certainly they are trying very, very hard, though, to to get it up then they haven't thrown in the towel which we we really thought that north melbourne would overrun them kicking with the aid of this strong breeze there's bill berry who's done a quite a good job in this quarter out goes to bruce reed he kicks out wide looking there for ross gallagher he's taken a beautiful mark too young ross gallagher on half forward flank off he goes onto the left foot he's gone short oh. and it's a bad kick as the ball goes to wayne schimmelbush on half back flank he kicks it high it's all north melbourne an easy mark will be taken by ellen jarrett on center wing Jarrett looking for the long kick there it is it's a beautiful kick too looking for McCann over the back of the pack it goes to Spencer Spencer goes wide to John Byrne Byrne looking for Blight Blight's got the sit again he nudges him out oh yes the umpire was onto that one though he paid the free kick <laughs> with a little shove a very minute shove that one <laughs> lent into Neil Cordy he knew all about it though yes he didn't even look up at the umpire he knew what had happened when he heard the whistle down it goes towards the half back line and a beautiful one-handed mark is taken by stephen mccann on half forward plank off he goes and lines up for goal from 40 meters out here's blight with the chance for the fly again and he's marked this one he's into the open goal he goes and he's off line he's missed it from 10 meters out oh. malcolm blight and put a, could have put goal number 12. 12 on the board. 11 goals to Malcolm Blight, a magnificent effort. There's the short pass coming out wide to Hawkins. He ducks back into play, gives a hand pass to Terry White, coming past. He's caught, drops the ball. Play on, said the umpire. The ball knocked back to Chris Burton from Stan Davidson. Over to goes to Ian Dunstan. He goes short towards the centre of the ground. The ball fa favours Ted Whitten. He's almost caught. Hooks it back and wide, and a mark taken on the chest by Jim Edmond on centre wing. Time running out now for Footscray. Edmund to put them into attack. Looking for Templeton, but in front and taking a strong mark is Gary Dempsey. North Melbourne steading in the closing stages of this term. A high ball towards Wilson. Good mark on the wing. Has a look up forward. In fact, elects to chip one in short and find Schimmelbush there. He's got McCann running for him, uses him. Another one across to Holt, in trouble. Back to McCann. They're going to look for Blight. Down to Schimmelbush. Another one. They're overdoing it. McCann goes to ground. That was a bad piece of football. It was almost as though they were looking to feed Malcolm Blight then. Back towards the centre. Jarrett comes bursting through. Fists it down towards Hodgman. Has the pace to get away. A look in towards half forward and a chip finds Byrne. Within scoring distance, Andy has kicked two goals. Both of those in the second term. But this will certainly end any hopes Footscray have of taking out the game, I'm afraid. Burn. 45 metres out, 45 degree angle. Chips in towards goal, distance is not a problem, and he hits the post. So one point only to the ruse, but they're certainly not in danger of defeat at this stage 1911 to Footscray's 17 8 short mark taken by Chris Burton Footscray keen to keep the ball moving Burton under pressure from Blake but he gets away 
Beautiful short pass. Well, just offline. In fact, as uh, Henderson came through looking for the ball, grabbed by Jarrett. Jarrett hooks it back towards centre half foot. Over the back to Spencer. Spencer caught with the ball. Grabbed by Darrell Schimmelbush. Out wide it goes to Wilson. Wilson 30 metres out. Ducks back onto the left foot. Goes short. They're fiddling around with the ball. A bit of show. Uh, a few show ponies uh, showing out at the moment for North Melbourne. It's not good football in the past five minutes as they're trying to. Uh, go with these little fiddly short passes and hand passes down towards Malcolm Blight instead of going for the long kick. Here's a chance for Footscray as uh, Hawkins goes in after it. Oh, great play there by Wayne Schimmelbush. He fires at the goals. He hooks it back. A chance for Bruce Reed to mark on his chest about 10 metres out from the North Melbourne goal. 15 metre penalty as well. And Bruce Reed will come about 30 metres out from the North goal and kick it straight up the centre of the ground. There it is, a high kick. 40 metre kick, Dunstan from behind, can't get the mark, the ball hits the deck, in goes Stan Davidson, ridden into the ground, and he'll take the free kick on half-back flank. Off he goes with a hand pass to his teammate there in Burton. Burton kicks long and wide, looking for Templeton, Dent Shepherds, is it a free kick? No, it's a mark, paid to, uh, in fact it's not Dent, it's Glenn Dinning, and he kicks long, but uh, running over the mark was Kelvin Templeton, so Glenn Dinning will receive the benefit of a 15 metre penalty. Ross Glendinning, centre wing, long kick, looking down there for Blight, he's from behind, he's almost got the mark too, he goes in after it, knocks it on, good play Blight, Neil Cordy punches it back towards Sait, Sait with a hand pass to Siri. siri has got a paddock in front of him as he kicks short, looking up there for Edmund and he's got it on centre wing, he gives it across to Witten, Witten with a hand pass, they should be able to run this right up, Gallagher's got 50 metres in front of him. One bounce into the open goal. He fires as it's swung back. Yes, it's a goal. To Ross Gallagher, a very good goal. And uh, that's his first goal after coming on as interchange. And Footscray have kicked their 18th. 18 goals, 8. 116 to North Melbourne. 19 goals, 11. 125. Ball coming back to the centre. An excellent game here at the Western Oval today. Footscray at one stage well on top of North Melbourne, but North with their superior experience and a magnificent full forward in Malcolm Blight, who's kicked 11 goals, gradually getting on top. Bill Berry against Dempsey. Well, Dempsey's got nearly every hit out in the centre today. There's uh, Doug Hawkins trying to come through. He gives it to Siri. The ball smothered off his boot. It's grabbed by Jarrett. He goes out wide to Glendinning. Glendinning over the top towards Tanner. Tanner on centre wing has a casual bounce. Has another one. Will probably look for Blight. He goes for the long kick and Blight's got the set shot for the big mark. He's marked it. No, said the umpire. One inch away from taking that mark. Coming away from defence is Michael Egan. Goes straight across the face of the goal, looking for Hawkins. Over the back, he went for the punch. Good play by Hawkins as he knocked it on towards Davidson. Davidson almost caught. Goes for the hand pass to Bill Berry. Berry under pressure, kicks it straight across goal. But there's the siren, the sound, the end of the game. But the shot will be taken for goal by Wayne Schimmelbush, about 70 metres out from goal. So this score will register if it goes through. It's going to land. It's offline. So the scoreboard shows at the end of the match, North Melbourne, 19 goals, 11, 125. To Footscray, 18 goals, 8, 116.